guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, hello. I'm guessing you pretty much know what I do for a living. I'm a reseller. I pick things up for cheap and then I sell them on for a profit on platforms like eBay, Depop, Vintage, Etsy, blah, 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 blah. That's how I make my living. Um, yesterday I did a live and I bought a bag of toys for £3. And uh, yeah, I, I did quite well actually, I'm quite surprised. So I'm just going to do like an overview of all of that and what it's worth and Hopefully I'll put the tally <laughs> up here. So, what I spent, the tally. Okay, so this so. guy is definitely going up <laughs> pronto. Uh, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, uh, 15 pound. Someone's got one up for 20, but 15 pound. Harley Quinn, it's from the Suicide Squad box to go for like 12 to 15. I think if I put it up for 9.99, it might generate some, some interest. Paw Patrol stuff. Uh, they're going in a bundle of Paw Patrol, uh, vehicles that i've got the added value to it will probably be only a couple of quid to be honest you're like probably at four or five pound okay so these ones are the disney uh little figures now someone's put this one up for four pound fifty but you know what i'm thinking of doing i might just put all of them up at once for... so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them up for a tenner okay so i've got all the dc ones all bundled up but one two three four now if i put them up put them up for 9.99 and then accept 750 that's like 15 30 that's like 30 quid off uh these are all from uh the pixar movie uh luca yeah i quite like it i think it's a gentle kind of like nice little uh, kids film anyway yeah so these are all from the busy book i've seen a couple online but people use them for cake toppers as well thinking of maybe just putting these up for 750 and then accepting a fiver Okay, so these are like the little Toy Story figures. Um, it's a Funko Mystery Mini, and it's from 2019, so it's not old, obviously. Um, and yeah, it's in a bit of a, a rough state. £10 for the, for both of them. I might just uh, put it up on its own for a fiver. 7 to 10 on them, maybe 10 and then accept 7. Let's give it, it's 13 50 on my little... So these are PJ Masks. If I put these at 7, then I'll probably take 5. Okay, this is like uh, some of the DC stuff, and this all came with it as well. And it's the Batman, it's Imagine X. I couldn't think of the word the other day. It's Imagine X. Um, now, this, the car's pretty interesting. It's a bit varied. Um, some have gone for £6, others have gone for 3 And then someone's got twelve ninety five for one. But I think these don't have the, the little Batman figure. Mine does. So I wonder... I wonder whether to put this up on its own and then these guys together. That's not Imagine X, but I'm putting that with it just as a little extra. Um, but yeah, these three, Harley, Aquaman, or Arthur, and uh, Robin. Um, so I don't know whether to put it as a bundle and just get it out of the way and put it maybe at like 15 quid. Or maybe put that at like 12 95 and then put them at like a fiver. I don't know. I, I haven't decided, but I think altogether I could probably make about 15 to... I'd say, yeah, 15 is a safe kind of like number to put to put in. Okay, these are Power Rangers. And um, yeah, there's, there's a bit of everything. Because there's like multiple iterations, they've done a lot of like Power Rangers stuff. So with the staff and with the staff and the um, headgear, that is sold. That's a sold one for uh, 10.99 plus 3.40. I mean, it's pretty good. But I think if I put these up for a tenner, I could probably get about £7 for them. Or seven fifty. Now these have all been listed individually at seven or eight eight pound. That's the movie one. That's Jungle Fury. I can't. Remember. Is that SPD? I can't remember. Got a bit of a Power Rangers bundle going uh, underneath all of that. <laughs> uh, so I think I might just put them all together and just try and get rid of them all at once. Added a couple of quid to them. So if I add like say five to the total because of that, and then uh, uh, I said ten didn't I, and then seven. So if I add like thirteen pound the total that's pretty good isn't it uh four little bundles from all the marvel stuff uh these two i don't know what to do with that one it's just a bit eerie it's, i might chuck it i don't know but this one's a funko pop and it's venom he's quite popular because he's he's like the stitch of the marvel universe <laughs> he can do like he does like lots of variants and this is captain america variant and it's, it's not worth that much i don't think it's like seven quid these ones like cake toppers which are great i've got a spider-man focused one with villains and miles morales he's going to be a keyword um, yeah, there's one of the Spider-Men. And I've got Spider... Is it Spider-Gwen? I've got, like, enough to do, like, maybe um, uh, 7 50 each out of three. That's £22.50 altogether. 
maybe a five of them because it's quite wet now the spider-man stuff put the, some stuff up now because there's a new film coming out um across the spider-verse it's an animated one it's not like the live action one but the main character is miles morales but i think it's not out of the realms of possibility especially with the funko i think maybe put these about 20 pound I'm just going to, basically just going to put all of these together and I might just put them up for a tenner, get rid. <laughs> £10, I'd be happy if they go. Okay, so these are Ben 10 characters, but I think that they're rip-offs because there's no markings and usually Ben 10, which is uh, owned by the Cartoon Network, they have like CN or something of that nature in like, there's, a, there's usually a maker's mark. Uh, so yeah, these are going in the uh, odd odds <laughs> which is basically where anything that doesn't fit into a bundle they're going in there and then they're going into a big bundle all by themselves it's like this it's like oh it's like a toy graveyard i feel quite mean now zootropolis it's quite a big bundle actually <laughs> but um yeah zootropolis figures mixture of everything there there I, I might put them up for like as cake toppers you know uh for like a fiver and yeah they're not worth much um i think they're about like a four or five pound each for these ones these fortnite ones this one i didn't really i was like trying to look for him and of course he's the shark head the guy and he's like missing his thing anyway someone got someone's put one up for like 15 quid another person's put one up for 20 so i'm thinking if i put both of these these two up for 15 um then i'll be happy with that and then maybe put these up for 10 so that's 25 quid for them which i'll be happy about oh just interrupting fyi but um if you're selling like toys or anything like that or miniature figures or buttons or anything like t tiny for obvious reasons these little poly bags i know i know a lot of people are like oh it's plastic but they, they do they, they work wonders they save it from moisture from rub because if you're packing them all into a big box and they don't have any protection they might rub against each other they might fleck off the paint so these are really good or for larger figures like the the normal like toy size that i think the normal figures this the five and a half ones these are really good. These are just like these little cellophane bag things. Um, or something of the like. What I've done is I've put in um, affiliate links down below. It's a way to help me because I get the tiniest little bit. The, the good to have, I've got a big kind of like bag full. The whole bag costs three pounds. So I'm really happy with like what I've got. And altogether, this is like gross sales. It's not uncounting that. And the thing is some could sit for a while and I might change things up and have added value to other bundles. So I've kind of tried to equate that in. in. Um, but so far, £180. £180 for a £3 bag. That's the kind of profit I like. I'm just going to do the rest of the stuff that I got yesterday. The Witcher box set. We know that Henry Cavill's leaving. We know the third season's coming up. So peak at a peaked interest. Uh, Witcher season three will be coming out in summer of this year. So putting these up like pronto, I think a solid... Um, listing price it will be 45 with like it's quite heavy um six pound fifty postage and then accept anything over 35 uh at least then i'll be making about 20 odd quid on them which is fine it's devil's advocate and a large and it's like hanging paisley and it's just it just look a bit but yeah five pound was a bit too much however one uh, there's a, like a couple that i've seen go uh, between 20 and 30 pound so i think i might just put it up for 29.99 and then take an, any offer over 20 25 this sleeping bag i'm gonna put up for 30. either 30 or 35 because it is an adult so it is huge <laughs> um yeah and it's got quite a nice pattern and it's very clean it's like brilliant and i only paid three pound for it I paid three pound for it and if i put it up for 30 35 i think i'll more than likely get 20 to 25 however i'm going to set it at 35 and just hope for the best this vintage mat, I have no idea what I'm doing with. Vinyl-y kind of material. But yeah, it's from obviously from the 80s. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I'll have to see. I think maybe it's so rare. I don't know, I might put it up for 40. Yeah, try it 40 and then reduce it down to 30. I won't want to get rid of it for less than 25. And I paid five pounds for it. So altogether, if I sell it for 40, I'll probably be getting about 20 odd quid profit. Uh, if I sell it for the minimum, which is about 25, I will be getting about 15 pound profit. If you didn't catch my live, uh, that's fine, don't worry. I'll put a card up <laughs> um, here somewhere. Yeah, you can watch that. That was like literally, because it could have gone it could have gone either way. It could have really gone either way. I could have found like nothing. 
uh, but I ended up finding some good stuff. So yeah, so thanks for sticking around. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll probably release another video tomorrow. Bye.